Hello, orchestra students. I'm here to play Oats, Peas, and Beans. Oats and Peas and Beans. Okay, it's the basic tune, and I'm going to play it on all three instruments at different tempos, okay? So the fun thing about this video is that you can play it three times in a row, um, all with different instruments, if you want, or just with your same instrument, because it's all the same melody, right? So I'm going to play it on my violin first. So here we go. We're going to play it quite slow so that you're getting used to how it sounds, getting used to how it feels, making sure that you're getting all of the bowings right um, and doing all the rhythm right. Okay, so here we go. So that's my violin version, and notice that on the second part of it, I started kind of doing that um, motorcycle stop, stop, and all that stuff to help you with the rhythm, okay? Now I'm going to play it on my viola, okay? So it's going to sound very much the same because it's in the same octave. Um, I will count out loud on the second part of this, of this second time, okay? so that you can kind of understand how you count out loud, okay? Notice that I'm sitting nice and tall in my chair. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair. You probably can't see that, but notice that I'm not even close to the back of the chair, okay? And I'm in ready position right now. I've got my bow in my bow hold, and I'm ready to go, okay? Here we go with the basic tune again, oats and peas and beans. Now I'm on this string. Here we go. One and two and a little faster. Whoa, that was really out of tune. Well, no wonder. So if that ever happens to you, stop and check your tuning. tuning demonstration. Notice that when I have my shoulder rest on, I can do that. If I didn't have my shoulder rest on, that would be really hard to tune with my with my tuners up there. Okay? All right. Enough tuning. <laughs> but that was hopefully helpful to see kind of how you tune. Okay? All right. Here we go. Oats and peas and beans again another time, this time a little bit faster. One and two, and here I go. And And one and two and three 
four and one and two and three and four and one and two and So notice I play on those rests right up until I say the next number. Okay? All right. Now it's cello time. And I just tuned the cello so I know it's okay. I should have, obviously I should have tuned that viola first. How dare me. Okay. All right. So here I am with the cello and we are going to be making tunnels. Okay? Before when I was doing it, I was just using my fourth finger. If you haven't been using your fourth finger, please try it. You will like it, okay? The more you embrace your fourth finger, the easier it is. Cellos don't have a choice. They have to use their fourth finger. And they do have to make a lot more tunnels than we do because we do have to have the cellos make string changes a little bit more often, okay? So I am gonna change my music just so that I'm actually looking at cello music because I think it will help my brain. Because right now I have the violin music up. So here's my cello music. And now I'm going to play the cello part, okay? Okay, there's my F sharp. Here we go. One and two and here I go and just a hair too high so I did scooch it back just a hair okay it's it's great to keep going but we want to fix our tuning as we're going right we want to make sure that we're always playing in tune and if we're not in tune we fix it immediately okay all right I hope that was helpful um, your E's make sure you're doing two E's in measure seven and in measure 15 Okay, um, two E's at the end of those measures, that's different than in measure one and in measure nine. Okay, so please notice those changes, those differences, and do your best and have fun. This is a fun song, and I hope you'll enjoy playing it.